Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Chitra Moon. Today we're gonna look at what your coworkers really think about you. Uh, we've got four beautiful images in front of you. You're gonna go with the one that really feels like pulls you in, you're gravitated towards. Yes, you may choose more than one, should you feel guided to. So I'm gonna give you five seconds to choose. You can also feel free to pause the video, but that timer is gonna start now. Okay, so if you were gravitated towards image one, uh, a couple things. I'm gonna be offering an extended reading um, to this reading through my Patreon. It's going to be on what do your friends think about you? Um, check that out. You can find it in the comment section. The link will be there as well as the description box. If there's anything that you like about the reading, please don't hesitate to give it a like, a thumbs up. It really does help me, helps the algorithm, but it also mainly helps me to know, to see what my viewers wanna see more of from me, what type of readings they want, as well as please check out my second channel. There are also messages over there you know, maybe not through tarot readings, but through my spiritual journey. Um, I do have a lot of info that you may be able to relate to. So go check out that second channel. The, that link will be the first link in the description box. As well as if you'd like to book a private reading, that will be the last link in the description box. Okay. So let's get to uh, this image one. Um... I feel like we're starting off with a bang here because when I look at image one, um, the cards that I received, I said to myself, this is one employee that you don't mess with. I feel like you could be a very powerful individual for various reasons, Just so just bear with me. And again, this reading will be you know, for thousands of people. So don't make a judgment until you have listened to the message in its entirety, but you're very powerful as an employee. And what do I mean by that? I'm not really getting pushover vibes here. I'm not really getting like, just because you work for somebody, that means all of a sudden you are going to bow down. And I feel like your coworkers sense this. Um, you could be powerful in your space. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're a cleaner. I don't care if you are, um, you know, working in an office, uh, what you're doing. I feel like you are definitely an asset. Your coworkers know you are an asset, but I think there's also something with respect to knowing you're an asset, so you're able to kind of maybe get away with more or do more, or you have a better time like where you are because you don't have to be like them, which is maybe walking on eggshells. Who the heck knows? But I feel like, you know, with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups, some of your coworkers could think that you are very strategic with your moves. There's a calculate, calculating energy uh, within, you know, your vibe or your actions. And sometimes it looks like you're, I feel like, playing many sides, but mainly to like the higher ups or the boss. There could be something like that. Like, you know how to get your way with the higher ups. You know how to kind of maneuver yourself. Um, but it, there's a way you do it. And it, it could be a little sneaky, but it could be also with the Knight of Cups very charming. It could be like those two elements together, you know, moving in simpatico in a very, you know, beautiful way because it looks like you do get sometimes what you need to get. Um, but I feel like here there's a bit of intimidation for some of you, if you are really good with, you know, your coworkers or, you know, who you work for, that can be intimidating to other coworkers because they can see it, they sense it. Maybe you're very chummy with, you know, your managers or, you know, again, whoever's above you. Maybe some of you are the boss, okay? Maybe that's what that is as well too. But I just feel like here, especially with this card, I have to, I, I cannot pick up these cards. Oh my goodness. S-H-I-T-T-I-N-G, where you eat. You've got no holds bar about letting loose, you know? So this card means basically you will, you can go outside yourself. You have no boundaries. You don't have no limits. 
you don't have um, no self-regard like for where you're at, okay? And I'm reading that as, again, like it doesn't matter like what you do or who you work for. You could be very powerful in your position. Um, and I don't care what position it is, but I just feel like other coworkers see this like, wow, like he or she can really get away with a lot or can talk to their manager like that or, you know, do particular things. And it's like, how do you get away with this? You know, like you're in your workplace, you know, like how is this possible? Something along those lines. And then we have skating on thin ice as well, too. So I feel like here um, you often skate on thin ice, but to me, I don't feel like the, the ice ever completely breaks, but it's just, again, that type of energy that I'm seeing from coworkers that are like, wow, like she, and, and that's something I feel like I'm hearing, like, wow, he or she is really skating on thin ice, but like nothing ever happens, you know? So again, I feel like here they could assume um, not assume, but look at you like, wow, like you really just can get a lot away with, away, with, away with a lot here. You can do whatever you want. But this is the thing though, you know, with the magician, you may be very good at what you do and it's kind of understandable. Maybe, you know, maybe there's like, you know, an energy of, I mean, they've heard, you know, people saying like, well, we can't lose her because she's the only one that knows how to do anything here. <laughs> Or maybe, you know, you're very like overqualified, you know, we're lucky we have her. There's something of that as well, too, with the magician, you know, and uh, with the seven of wands, this is interesting, too, because I feel like sometimes you could really talk outside your mouth or maybe it's not even really that big of a deal. But to others, other coworkers is like, wow, I can't believe she spoke to like Jim like that or something. But not only that, too, like you defend yourself. So you're not really about you know, being in a workplace and just, again, being that submissive person who's just going to get tossed around like a salad, um, degraded, that that's just not, you know, what, what you're at, where you're at. And that's how your coworkers feel, feel about you is like, wow, like, in a way, it's kind of like they look up to it. I don't know that they could ever be like that. But it's kind of amazing. Like, Again, it's magical, actually, to some degree, like what you get away with. And with the strength, <sighs> that strength card is really talking about bravery for me. You know, there's a lot of chutzpah within this pile. Um, your coworkers, just you're brave. And we also have this card of the truth lives. So you're not afraid. And with that judgment card as well, too, there's not, you know, no afraid, like being afraid to kind of speak up, speak your mind. Um, and I'm going to say another thing too. I am hearing like some of your coworkers feel like you run this place or you run the show or you kind of maybe even could be a little bit arrogant sometimes or you kind of are doing way too much for your position. So what do I mean by that? Let's say you're not even their boss, but you can boss them around sometimes or you'll tell them they should do something better or do it like this, do it like that. And it's like, whoa, like, what are you doing? Like, you're not even the person I answer to. You're not the person um, I need to say anything to. Why are you coming over here and telling me anything? It could be like that as well, too. Um, because again, I think you're very, I, I'm not saying you don't care about your job. I think you do care about your job, but you're powerful. Like I said in the beginning, this is one powerful employee uh, with group one. And um, this is interesting. I don't know why I got this card, mob mentality. Some of you could be a little spicy, okay? You could have a mob mentality. Maybe you are not afraid in the downtime to be like, yeah, Jim, Jim, Jim better watch his ASS or I'm going to F him up. <laughs> Maybe you come across as like really aggressive, you know, in your tone or like a mob mentality. And it's funny because I've actually been referred to as that. I sound like I'm from New York and I sound like I'm like a, a mafia housewife or something. I've, I've heard that before. Um, it could just be the tone. It could be the way that you speak. But um, it's kind of like humorous a bit, you know, it's kind of humorous. I I'm not going to lie. It's kind of funny. And listen, maybe some of you have had spectacles in the workplace 
And look at all those people filming. Like it was filmable, guys. Like whatever happened there. Maybe you're known for your outbursts. Maybe you're like, listen, I've seen this work to people's advantage, especially if you have a narcissistic boss. I've seen this work to their advantage when you don't, you know, um, bow down to them. They actually like you more. And the fact that you kind of stand up to them, they'll actually respect you more. So I want to be very clear with this pile. This is not all bad things, but it's funny. It's funny to me. Like, I think you're lovable in the office. Like, let's like kind of make it a little fluffier now. Okay. Because I know I have probably said a lot of things, but um, you are lovable. You're very unique. I, I just don't think anybody can reign over you. So let's say you work for somebody and you know, you're not in the highest position. It doesn't matter who you work under. You're never going to really energetically work for anybody. You know, you're just going to show up, do what you got to do and get out. But nobody's gonna be able to cross a line with you. Now, the other thing I am seeing with the uh, four of cups, maybe you could come across as two things, um, two things I'm getting with this card. Some of you may um, not really take up invites. OK, so your coworkers could feel sometimes like maybe you're not being as sociable as they would like for you to be. How you could, it might not even be that you don't like them. It may be just really busy, you know, but I feel like your coworkers would want to be around you outside of work. Like you're just, you're, you're a lot, you know, but in a fun way, you know, I don't think to meet you, I, I don't meet people like you. I, I just don't, um, if I'm them. So I feel like when they have their outings or their little powwows outside, I feel like it's kind of like, mm, you know, you're not really kind of hyped up for that. You don't want to get together outside of work. Now, the other thing I may be reading this as, I could be reading this as as well too. Sometimes your coworkers wonder why you're, there, why you're there, like where you are, all of you guys together. Maybe they look at you like you deserve a lot better or you should be somebody somewhere better. Um, you have a certain way about you that is probably, you know, you could run a whole division, what are you doing here? Something along those lines. Um, and that will be like person to person how that, you know, plays out. But some people, some of your coworkers could wonder like, why are you there? You're just too fabulous for this place in a sense, or maybe overqualified. But for the majority part with this, I think your coworkers, I think you're the life of, you know, your setting, your work setting. Um, it's always like, what's Tracy going to do? You know, I'm just using a name as an example. Like, what's Tracy going to do? You know, <laughs> who's going to get on Tracy's nerve today? Because she's going to like blow up. But it makes my day. So you're you're kind of like a source of entertainment for your coworkers in a way as well, too. I'm not really sensing any kind of hate here. It's more just shock. Like, you're shocking. Like, I think you're very nice. I think you're helpful. I think you would be the first one if somebody new came in um, and they didn't know what the heck they were doing to help them out, but you're abrasive. And it's funny to watch. It actually makes the day better. Um, but it's also empowering as well too, because I think there's a lot of coworkers who may view you as an, a way of being. I wish I could be like her in that way. So this could be coming from a lot of people who maybe are, I don't know, uh, you know, pushovers, you know, I don't like to call them that, but sometimes it's hard, you know, um, but you look like that to them, you know, like I want to be like her, you know, I need to get some chutzpah like her. She really, you know, is knows what she's doing, you know, because what's great about this is that you can talk because you have the talent, you're, you're useful, you're resourceful in your office, you know, probably to some degree, that your office needs you and maybe you take advantage of that in a good way, you know? Um, I would be like this. And I'm not saying that you're crazy and throwing desks around the place. <laughs> Although maybe some of you do, I don't know. But I just think it's more about um, not really getting walked over, um, not ever being put into a position of being like, you know, uh, a person that's going to get pushed around, uh, asked to do way too much, or even be talked to in a very degrading way. That's not you. You'll never let that happen. And I commend you for that. I really do. Okay, so this was your reading pile one. Again, if you'd like to catch that extended reading, I will be reading on what your friends really think about you. 
and uh, you can find it within the comment section or the description box. Take care, guys. Hello, image two, pile two. This is going to be your reading, but before we start, a few things to note. I will be offering an extended reading through my Patreon platform on what do your friends really think about you. You can find that within the comment section. The link will be there as well as the description box. If there's anything that you like about this reading, um, please hit the like button, subscribe. Um, it does help me um, on YouTube, but it also helps me to gauge to see as a reader what you guys want to see more of from me. Um, if you'd like to also check out my second channel, I do offer other messages over there. Uh, they're not through tarot readings, but they're through my own experiences through this spiritual journey. And you may be finding something um, over there that will resonate with you. So go check it out. It's the first link in the description box. As well as if you'd like to book a private reading, check out the last link in the description box. Okay, let's start here. Um, and please listen, listen to the message in its entirety before you make a judgment. Um, this reading is going to be for thousands of people. So not everything that I will say with, will resonate with just you, but just don't make a judgment until it's completely done. With this pile, um, it's kind of interesting, guys. Um, I feel like here we've got a couple of groups who have picked this, this image. Um, some right off the bat, you're probably in a higher up position. You probably manage a bunch of people. Um, and then we have others who may be, you know, not really in a managerial position. Um, but let's talk to those who are not in the managerial position first, okay? I feel like with the Queen of Swords here and the Justice and the Two of Cups, my goodness, um, I'm kind of not really sure how to take you because I feel like you could sometimes run hot and cold. You could be a person who is sometimes affected by your mood and Listen, that's not very weird, okay? But some days maybe you're coming in like really good and then the other days you just don't even care to say hello to people. Um, but regardless, I feel like if I'm a coworker, I'm not really sure what I'm getting with you. Every day is a different story. Um, the Queen of Swords, she can be a very cold individual. Um, and I mean unreadable is what I really mean to say. Um, she's not exactly, um, a person who mm, is balanced sometimes in emotions, but regardless, you have a very generous streak. So I don't really know what the two of cups is standing for here. I don't know if you are helpful to others. I don't know if you are also engaging with your coworkers outside of work, but I feel like there's a social aspect here. Also a very giving energy. I feel like here you would be the first one to accept an invite. It's very different than pile one. I feel like if there is some sort of social events outside of work, um, you're the first one to say, sure, no problem, I'll be there. Um, and I also feel like to some degree, you know, if people need help within your office, you know, let's say you have a new person or... I don't know, you know, maybe there's like some person working there that you feel bad for you like you'll help them, you know, you, you don't mind. But it's interesting because I feel like with the justice like that balancing. It's very like hot and cold back and forth, but ultimately this is a good vibe for me, um, you know, with the justice card, you could be very fair within, you know, your work group. Um, you're not about taking sides. I don't think this pile gives two SHITs about gossip and drama. I feel like you want nothing to do with that. I think coworkers know that you're about business. Okay. You're about business. But again, it's a very nice balance because even though I say that you still will kind of maybe even, you know, hang out outside of work. Now, if that doesn't resonate with you, that you would never hang out outside of work, don't knock the whole reading. Okay. Um, with the three of pentacles, you're very much a team player. Um, your coworkers are, you know, very appreciative of that, but they really are appreciative of the fact that you care a lot about the vibe. Okay. The vibe, everybody working together, making sure we're like, and it's not about 
you know, being nice. It's more about efficiency. You care a lot about that. Um, I think maybe as well, too, your boss is very important to you. Your boss is extremely important to you. They see that. They see you take your work very, very seriously. And wow, these cards over here are interesting. But I haven't even been able to get over there yet because there's just so much here. And what I love about the Justice and the Two of Cups is that your coworkers really appreciate um, the professionalism. So with the Two of Cups, this is, you know, equal energies moving back and forth to each other um, in harmony with mutual respect. So I don't really get here that, you know, you're going to be talking out your mouth or getting like unprofessional. You will never call anybody out of their name or degrade them. Um, no, that's not you. The only thing I would say here is that sometimes there could be something with the mood in the morning. I don't know what it is or, you know, because Queen of Swords, she can be flighty like that. She can be a little off, you know. Um, listen, let, let's call it a spade a spade, okay? Um, I've seen a lot of air sign women. We're not saying you're an air sign, but I've seen air sign women. I've worked with them. And uh, I would say mainly predominantly like Libras, I find this. Um, but in the morning, like, you know, it was like kind of a look of a draw, whether you were going to get her to, you know, acknowledge you in the morning or not. She'll just walk right past you like she doesn't know you. <laughs> and then the next morning she'll be like, oh, good morning. You know, so it's just it's nothing personal. I don't think it's a very big deal. It's just something I'm noticing. Maybe your coworkers feel like sometimes like you're unreadable. You know what I mean? But when it comes to the job, you know, you're all about it. You know, you're all about working together, um, you know, for the cause, working, um, you know, efficiently. And if that means that you have to be a team player with the three of pentacles, like you're down for that. <coughs> now, <coughs> What's interesting, excuse me, about the Nine of Pentacles is that really matches up to this, okay? Starting from zero, you're a success story. I don't care what position you work for. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you mop floors for a living. You have a success story. There's a bit of idolizing with your coworkers, and you guys could be in the same, like, ranking, but I feel like they idolize you because you have a story and it could be literally that you came from another country. It doesn't matter what the story is. Um, it kind of adds something to like your um, portfolio, your personality, your demeanor, how people receive you. It's like if they were to know the story, they would kind of be like, it would affect how they feel about you because it's inspiring. It's very inspiring. Now, the other thing that I'm reading with the Nine of Pentacles is that um, some of you, your outfits are, wow. Uh, I mean, Nine of Pentacles, she dresses nice. I don't care what you're wearing. I don't care if you're a maid, but you've got really nice shoes or, you know, you do your hair nice. Just take it with however it resonates, okay? Um, there's something about the physical appearance that is really top notch. And if you do work in an office, okay, let's say you do, um, your outfits, it's like, what is she going to wear tomorrow? Like, I, I want to know, like, I, and how does she put that together? Like, how do you put that together? Some of you, I'm going to be very specific here. Some of you really bang out the work outfits. Like, wow. Like if I was to see you on the street, I would think you're doing something big. Like, you know, it's just... Even some of it, it's very fashionable, the way you're tying everything in together. Um, it's very attractive. And I feel like your coworkers, when they think about you, um, they think about your 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 beauty, what you're wearing, um, your the aesthetics of it all, okay? Now let's move over here. So interesting, we've got encrypted, okay? I'm really getting this as you sometimes are very unreadable, okay? It's just, again, it could be that you're just not very chatty. Some days you just really zoned into your work. You don't feel like chatting. But I feel like this is actually alluring. So encrypted, you know, like you have, I have to figure you out, you know. I don't think anybody is going to be able to do that very easily. But this is alluring. I really do feel that. So it's not a bad thing. But then I also have here caution. So this is also interesting to me. Caution. 
we got to be careful. And I, I'm reading this as, you know, listen, like with you, um, I think you take professionalism very serious. Um, you could be laughing with your coworkers, but keep it classy, keep it professional. Let's not cross any lines. You know, again, if you are, you know, doing things outside social, we're not crossing a line. Okay. We're going to, you are my work friends. Um, they know this, they get the vibe on this. Okay. But this could also relate some to some of you who are watching, who could have your moods, like your days where people are aware they just get the hit right away from the morning time. Like when you walk in, like, okay, caution tape up today. Like, you know, and they know how to roll with your moods. Some people, some coworkers of yours really know how to vibe with your moods. They know you already and they know when you're kind of feeling more, um, you know, outgoing or sociable. And then there's other days to kind of hunker down. Now, this is interesting. Karma is a B. Karma is a B. I feel like you're untouchable within your workplace. And I feel like people who have tried have faced really bad consequences. Okay. I feel like also to some degree, I'm going to really go there for some of you. Some of your coworkers, even though everything I just said still applies, could have a healthy respect of fear. Like, don't go there. Don't step on that one toe. Listen, you may be, you may be like the queen mother or, or the queen of, of, of the, of the uh, office here, straight up. Some of you could really be the queen of the office. And again, um, the queen. I don't know why I want to say this. Um, but I just feel like we know not to step over, you know, boundaries or toes with you. And if we were to, we could probably get into like, you know, some issues. Now that emperor is sitting right underneath you. So listen, this could be that, you know, your boss regards you very highly. They are aware of this, but I'm talking now to those of you, you may be a boss. You could definitely be a boss with this pile. You could be a person who manages others, but you do a great job out of it. And what I like about this, let's just, you know, dive in here. What I really like about the Queen of Swords is that she has just enough to be social, but also keep that boundary where people don't overstep. And if you think that's hard, if that's if you think that's easy to attain, it's not. I have been in managerial positions before when I used to work, um, you know, nine to five positions. And I kind of like didn't do well with that because I was always like, I don't really want to be mean. I want to be nice. I want everybody to think I'm fun. You know, like, let's, you know, be fun. Let's keep it light. You know, I didn't want to be, you know, too bossy because I was always worried about how the person would feel. Um, so I suffered with that. But I feel like if I was to see somebody like that who would be able to keep it even keel, I feel like that would be something I would admire, okay? Uh, but I think you could definitely exude a certain level of fear. And it could just be that you are a boss. Um, but again, it's also the way you carry yourself. So you're just enough to be enough if you get where I'm going. And the Queen of Swords, she will be like that. She has a certain level of coldness but she can be fun she can be social she can be you know nice but i think with this pile um this is actually like i feel like you know as an employee whether you're the boss or not um you're like the the typical best employee anybody could ask for because again with the justice you just know how to keep it even keel you know, do your work, you know, be a social to a certain degree and, you know, like be a team player, like you've got it all. Um, and your coworkers know that. That's why you're such a, you're such a like an asset and they're aware of you being an asset, um, you know, especially if you're just like a, a, an employee and not a boss, but um, you keep people in check. You really do. And I think it's fantastic, you know? It's just the certain amount of level um, to just be enough while being enough. Um, because I think if you were to lean too much towards each other way, then you would get maybe a mean person who is just terrible to work for. Or then you would have the other type who just didn't take anything seriously, uh, was not responsible. So like with that justice, again, I'm really seeing this as the perfect employee. So this is how your coworkers view you. 
So again, guys, this is going to be uh, your reading. Um, but if you'd like to check out the extended reading, you can catch that within the comment section. The link will be there to my Patreon platform. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Hello, pal three. Okay, before we get into your reading, a couple things to note. I will be offering the extended reading to this reading uh, through my Patreon platform. It's going to be on what do your friends really think about you. You can find the link to that within the description box or the comment section. As well as if you'd like to book a private reading, you can check the last link in the description box. And also, please check out my second channel. I will be making some new videos uh, for that channel, but I also have a lot already there. Um, you know, they're not tarot readings, but they're about my spiritual ascension. And you may be able to find something that resonates with you through those videos. So go check that out. It's the first link in the description box. Guys, be very patient with me. This is going to be a reading for thousands of people. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, we've got, I feel like, a very, very empath empathetic soul who may be watching with this pile. Somebody who could be, you know, again, just like this card says, where's their heart on the sleeve? But unfortunately, it has trickled into work, the workplace. And I feel like here, um, you, your coworkers are aware of this. But listen, you know, with the Empress on the bottom of the deck, you could be literally um, the saving grace of where you work. You know, you are maybe a mother to a lot of people there. Maybe you are, listen, um, again, this is a reading for thousands of people, so just be patient. Uh, not everything I say will resonate with you, just you. But we could have some older people who have chosen this pile. Maybe a lot of the people that you work with are a lot younger and see you as a mother figure. But I feel like if you're not and you're the same age as those people, like your coworkers, you're probably very mothering. And I don't know what that's going to look like, but I feel like we're crossing over into the workplace when maybe it shouldn't be completely like that. So what do I mean by that? Maybe you're a little too nice in your workplace. Maybe you're a little too... Um, kind i don't think that there's like lines here so what do i mean by that you don't you ever meet people and they say to you oh i don't cross those lines in my workplace i'm not going to go out with people outside my workplace or i'm not going to you know um you know get too deep in with people in my workplace that doesn't really apply to you i feel like here you've probably been hurt the most from your coworkers. i feel like you probably um have really treated everybody, you know, just as if they were like your own family. And maybe some of you have been hurt. I do feel like with the Four of Pentacles, some of you could be lifers. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like for lifers, or you've been at your position, coworkers know you've been there the longest, or you've been with the company for a while. Um, I feel like you're very sweet. And just actually having you there actually makes other people's job a lot more better for them. I don't know why I have this, but do a lot of you work in hostile work environments? I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's for some of you or all of you, but this card came out. Hostile work environments. I think here it's like if this is true, you make it a lot more easier to deal with. And with the Page of Cups, this is really nice because I think this is kind gestures. And I think you're probably the person who is, you know, trying to maybe do something, you know, for your coworkers, maybe, you know, plan something or, you know, maybe have a fun day or even like that person who could be bringing in things like muffins. You thought of everybody. Um, oh, my gosh, guys, you guys are just so sweet. You keep this energy in the office. So or wherever you work, so tranquil, so tra so tranquil. But I feel like there's also a scratching my head from your coworkers as to kind of like why you're doing so much for this place. So I don't know where you work, uh, what you're doing, but I feel like with the 10 of wands, you're definitely overextending yourself. Um, you are coming from a place of yes all the time when really you should be saying no, or you're doing too much for your position. It could be that, but we've got here dormant, doormat energy. 
So people oftentimes feel a little bit alarmed as to kind of like what they're seeing, what they're watching happen to you. Um, it could be sometimes like, why are you being so nice here? Why, when you are, maybe even some of you are supposed to be a manager, maybe you're just being so nice. But like with the four of wands here, it's imperative for you to have a good environment, like a good workplace environment. It's important for you to be friendly with others. Like your interactions are very nice with the six of cups. But I just feel like here, it's sometimes too much the other way when it should be that you're being, you should be more tough on people. And I don't know if also too, if people are asking you to do things for them. Coworkers are watching this and kind of shaking their head as to kind of why you are doing this. And I mean, like, let's use some examples. I wonder if some people have asked you, you know, to, 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 can you drive me to work? Um, can you lend me money? Can you, um, I don't know, finish this for me? I'm kind of getting all those different vibes, but listen, if it doesn't apply and you know what I'm talking about, then go with that. But it's it's interesting because I feel like people really do love you, but it's hard to watch sometimes how you behave when you should be saying no, you're saying yes. Or are you going in on Saturdays? Are you doing more than you should be? Um, I think people feel like sometimes they, you should like, stand up for yourself. Okay. Um, we have the card here also of go easy on them. I wonder what that means. Um, should you be doing something when you're not go easy on them? Should you be hard on them? I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is your jo uh, boss or this is others who are doing things like other coworkers to you. I feel like this could be the 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 employee you uh who definitely gets you know maybe talked about gossiped about um maybe people have been extremely toxic towards you um have treated you like just crap um I, I don't know why I'm hearing this but I got to go with what I hear and it may sound it may be a little hurtful to hear but I feel like you were an easy target because you care so much about tranquility and, you know, just peace and happiness and having, you know, good interpersonal connections through work. I feel like it was an easy target. We have a gang of women here. And I'm wondering here, if you are a woman, have you faced a lot of issues in the workplace where people didn't want to let you in or there was a circle of women and they were just like hyenas, like sharks? Um, maybe they tried to mess around with you. Maybe they tried to fool around with you, uh, see what they could get you to do. I, I'm getting that from this, this pile. You know, I think you've probably with that 10 of wands as well, also have left a lot of, you know, workplaces because of this. It's been difficult, um, to stay anywhere. Like just, it's just like, it got to a point where you just had to go. Um, and I just feel like here... Um, this could be like rivalry, rival, rival, oh, oh, I can't say the word guys. Um, but listen with the Empress, um, your coworkers also view you as a very beautiful person on the outside. So this was all about the inside, but on the outside, you could be very beautiful. This could have really, I don't know why, but messed with your job places. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, cause you know, you guys are there to work, right? It's not a beauty competition. But I feel like here, um, your beauty could have gotten in the way a lot of the times of your workplaces um, and not being able to fit in or get into this crowd um, because maybe there was aspects of you. You weren't mean like them. Who knows? You know, there could be so many reasons. Maybe these, I mean, if these women are mean like how I'm reading them, they wouldn't have their heart on their sleeve. They wouldn't be like, you know, doormat energy. I mean, I'm not saying that doormat energy is bad, but I just feel like here, just with like with this boots on this carpet, people have really wreaked havoc on your soul within your workplaces. And I'm not saying that it's a common theme. I just think that some of you maybe have had really bad uh, workplace situations where it's just like 
a gang of people just have, you know, turned on you, treated you badly, maybe even got you fired. I don't know. Um, but it's interesting because I'm getting two sets of coworkers here. So some coworkers view you like what I said at the beginning, you know, very sweet. Uh, you know, it's amazing what you do, like the tranquil energy that you bring to the office. I think you you're kind of even a mediator to some degree too. Maybe you're that one that, you know, ha has broken up a lot of fights within the office or been the calm one, the tranquil one to like try to work things out between people. Because I think you genuinely do care about people. It doesn't even matter that you're at work. Okay. But I do get it. There's like another set of people who have just viewed you as in their mind an easy target and it's because they're not nice and um, they don't care about the things that you care about, which is tranquility, peace and harmony. And um, there could have been also some jealousy with the looks and the image, um, you know, being very beautiful, angelic, even to some degree, you know, when you have that beauty on the outside as well as the inside, and you don't fit into this, you know, maybe these people are gossiping, maybe they like to, I don't know, um, they celebrate themselves through, you know, talking about other people's downfalls, that's just not your bag, okay, so you just never fit in, but I think there also is another set of people who wonder why you take so much in the workplace, why do you do so much, you know, why are you still here? Some people even probably may think like, why are you here for so long? You know, you deserved better. Why did you do so much? Um, why were you extending um, yourself so much? And maybe even some of the times you were not even paid for it. You were just doing, you know, maybe you wanted to be, you know, again, keep that peace, do what you had to do um, to, you know, stay on somebody's good side. But I feel like sometimes it could be in others' eyes, your coworkers' eyes, too much, way too much. So with this pile, it's interesting. Um, and I feel like here, workplaces have not been your cup of tea. They've been extremely toxic. They've been unbearable to some degree. And I feel like here, we may have some people actually who are watching for the past. Maybe with that empress, you decide to go out and do your own thing. Maybe you're working for yourself right now. I have no idea. Maybe you decided to create your own business because you just literally just found working for people. I'm not saying everybody was bad, but some of the times it was like the way your personality was, was just not, no one was grateful in the workplace. So you decided to maybe even branch out and go do your own thing. Could be. Oh, goodness. Okay, so again, um, the extended reading, which will be on what do your friends really think about you, will be uh, in the description box, the link, as well as the comment section. If there's anything that you liked about the reading, go ahead and give it a like and let me know. I love reading your guys' comments. Thanks, guys. Hello, Image 4, Pile 4. Before we get into your reading, a couple of things to note. I will be offering the extended reading through my Patreon platform. What do your friends really think about you? That link to that uh, platform will be within the description box as well as within the comment section for your um, for you to be able to easily find it. Um, if there's anything that you like about this reading, please don't hesitate to give it a like, subscribe. Um, it helps me as the reader, um, but it also helps me to gauge to see what you guys want to see of more of from me. So please do so. As well as if you'd like to check out more messages, I do have a second channel. The, that will be the first link in the description box. I do share messages over there, um, not with tarot readings, but res with respect to my own personal journey my ascension journey and uh, you may be able to find messages or resonate with something over there so go ahead and check it out it's free just check out the link in the first um, in the description box it's the first link as well as if you'd like to book a private reading with me um, that will be the last link in the description box okay wow pile four um, <laughs> um, you are quite interesting um, your coworkers are actually very intrigued by you, but I, I also just feel like this is like, you got to give me a moment here to explain what I mean. Um, you don't, I feel like if I'm your coworker, I don't really know who you are and you may be talking to me. I'm not saying you're, you know, completely, you know, um, you know, shy or anything like that, but I just feel like I don't really know you. 
um, you kind of give off an energy that is very strong. You might have the strongest energy in the whole office. And I mean, like, you just walk in and I'm looking at you. And it reminds me of the last particular job I worked before I left and started to do this full time. There was this girl, she was actually in my actual office. It was two of us. And anytime she'd come in, I would just stare at her and I didn't know why. And her back was towards me. Like, it wasn't even like she was facing me. And I was like, what is it? Like, I just don't know what this is, you know? Um, you have a very strong energy that you exude. And listen, yes, it could be that you're beautiful, but it doesn't have to be that you are fitting any particular look. Um, your energy is strong. Like, you're unique. This is interesting. I I really am going to need your patience because to get it out, um, I mean, you're the high priestess, my goodness. But it's interesting because you may have a look about you or again, that energy about you. Like, who are you? Who are you? Like, I can't figure you out. I feel like with that world card, no joke, People literally stalk you on your or social media or check you out or see what the heck you're up to. Like you are interesting. And again, I'm not saying that you're shy or that you're rude or that you are a uh, distant, although you could be, but I just feel like here I'm intrigued. And I think with this secret crush, I think you have a lot of secret crushes in the, in the office or wherever you work. Like you're a commodity, you're a hot commodity. And um, again, you pull people that I think if you are a woman, and let's say you're interested in men, there's a lot of men in that office that would love to be, you know, around you more than they are, okay? Um, high Priestess is just a very unique energy, but with that moon, it also offers up like mystery and hiddenness. And I just feel like I could talk to you and talk to you, but I'll never get an idea of who you are. And I don't know if you do that on purpose, I really don't, but it's interesting because I feel like you are really good at what you do. Your coworkers know you're good at what you do and you may have some interesting jobs, you know, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm late to the game, but I, I, I couldn't believe like they actually have jobs for like social media. I don't know, I think that's interesting, you know, but maybe you're very good at what you do, you know, whatever that may be. But with the four of swords, like, I don't know, there's like a je ne sais quoi. It's like, I don't know, maybe you just give enough to give enough. Now, this doesn't feel to me like the pile that is hanging out with people outside of work. And that could be why that is. But I feel like for you, people know you're in, you're invested in your work. You know, you will be pleasant. You will be kind. You'll say hello. But you're not really there to chat. You know, you're not really there to kind of, I, I feel like, Coworkers also feel to some extent like you don't you're not interested in them, you know, getting to know them. I think you ask just the bare minimum or you talk in a conversation with just the bare minimum. But <laughs> there's an unwillingness to share. And it's not the food. OK, I just I think it's you. You're just not really interested in sharing too much. And listen, that could be for a plethora of reasons. Maybe you've been hurt before, you know, by giving out too much within the workplace. Or maybe you just don't care, you know, because with that eight of pentacles, I feel like you're just really there to do what you got to do and get out. I don't know that maybe anybody within the office really interests you, but you're there to complete a goal with the world card. And uh, again, I think you're extremely um, talented with what you do or resourceful because the eight of pentacles would be, this is talking about already mastering your craft. Like you've already got a skill, but you're just mastering it. And maybe some people are like, yeah, you know what? This one, I think they're just here to kind of get, the, you know, whatever they need to get on the resume. And then before you know it, they'll be off. I feel like there's also an energy of your coworkers thinking you won't be here forever. Because again, you're very dedicated. You're very about climbing the ladder. You're not really, I don't think about settling. You don't feel like that. I don't feel like, you know, I feel like if I'm around you at any moment, something better could come along and you'll be out of there. But with the four of swords, 
Sometimes, just for some of you, remember this is a reading for thousands, some of you, um, your coworkers may feel like you kind of take off too much time sometimes as well too. Maybe you're down and out, maybe you're too tired. Maybe some of you on the Monday morning are like, oh God, I can't get out of bed. Maybe people are talking about that. Maybe they're aware, you know? Maybe you're like, oh yeah, Julie, she's not coming in again. Yeah, she went partying and um, she couldn't come in again or she was too tired. Or And I'm seeing the rolling of the eyes. So I'm not going to lie. There might be a little bit of gossip about you, just a little bit. But it's not excessive because you do, you're, you're very good at what you do, okay? But with the hangman, I don't know. I still can't get an idea of who you are. I feel to some degree this could also point to maybe getting to know you or asking you to come out. And I don't know, this feels flaky to me. But I will say with the Page of Wands, um, you may be uh, very attractive at your job. You may know how to dress. You may be even overly, okay? So we could have like an Aaron Brockovich here for some of you. If it's not that it's not like that, then it would be that you know how to dress or you are just, again, very unique to look at. But everything is new. You got new things. You always have new outfits. You have new clothes. Maybe your style is very unique. It's like, oh, wow. You know, like, listen, in a world where everybody is just really getting out of hand, um, you know, with their dressing and just becoming slob kebabs, I feel like with you, you're keeping it hot and hip. And this is very interesting to watch. I think coworkers are, you know, uh, aware of the pride that you take within yourself and, you know, to do your hair, your makeup. Um, to come in and if you're a man same way not your makeup but whatever you know you do um, and you look chic you look chic you dress the part you're very very uh, attractive with the high priestess but that energy of yours is something now we've got imposter here so again I feel like whatever they see above the water is not they don't feel it's you they don't feel like it's exactly you. Some people, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, may feel like whatever you put on at work is not really who you are outside of work. And they could be watching on the social media. They could be asking. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe you're a type of person who's like, if anybody ever asked me for my social media at, at my work, I would tell them I don't have one. But maybe they're watching you on social media and saying, what the heck is that? She doesn't behave like that at work. Who knows? But if it's not that, I feel like there's suspicions that you're not who you are. Like again, above the water looks all green and lush, but underneath there's something else. Like people feel like you've got a story. Now it's interesting because with the high priestess, people will feel like that with her. You know, she exudes mystery. She exudes that type of energy where you will sense there's a secret or something, okay? You won't know. It's a je ne sais quoi, but hit the brakes. What's that about? Why are you hitting the brakes with us? Why can't we get in? Now, the other thing I want to say as well here too, just for some of you, some people may be aware that there's a secret cush at work. When they have, when you have, we're asking about what your coworkers think about you. They may talk about the fact that you have a crush. Now, let me tell you something about coworkers. You don't even have to tell them that you have a crush. They can just watch the way you interact with somebody and they will start gossiping like crazy. I've seen it a million times. People do that to others. Like I've seen coworkers do that to other people and make up all kinds of rumors and stuff. It was horrendous. Um, and maybe those people, those two were, you know, getting together, but... I didn't think that they needed to go that far, but maybe what's associated with you is a secret crush. You've got a secret crush at work or you're doing something with somebody that could be for one person out there, but I have to mention it. Now, if it's not that you could have, they could be aware that a lot of people in the office have crushes on you. Maybe those people are vocal about it. You know, maybe behind your back, they're like, oh my God, you know, like they hear them talking. You know how it is with the coworkers. You know how it is with the tea, okay? And the cooler, the water cooler talk. It's just, um, I'm glad I'm not in that setting anymore because that was the stuff that bothered me the most, okay? Is the talking and the gossip. But um, this could be really relevant for somebody out there. And 
I think, to be honest, it doesn't feel positive to me. It feels like maybe to some degree poking fun with the secret crush, but it could be also downright mean. Like I'd be talking about it, you know, in a way like to fuel their days. I don't know. Um, but back to this, I just feel like here, um, it's hard to get to know you. That's what these coworkers feel like. And you don't divulge much. You don't, you're not, you don't have a willingness to share. We don't really know who you are, even if we work with you for a year. Um, it could be frustrating to some extent for these people, um, because I think they do want to get to know you, but I actually feel like now that I'm almost at the end of this reading, I feel like actually I'm getting a, an, a vibe on your coworkers and I think you're doing the right thing because I feel like these types of coworkers that you may have around you could be very nosy um, and may even use things against you. So I would, I say, I would say like what you're doing could be, you know, good, but there is something about not showing up. Okay. Sometimes you just kind of push it too far with not showing up when you should, um, because this is the card of rest and relaxation. Okay. Um, this is the card of also, you know, nothing happening. Um, maybe you've faced a lot of times where, you know, you literally could have been canned at work or people think that you should be canned. Okay. Uh, for all of this time that maybe sometimes you take off, maybe you're on vacation sometimes, where are you going? You should be working. <laughs> oh goodness. What a situation. But with that world card, I can't, I can't deny it. Like, there's something about social media for some of you. And I feel like here you could be being watched. And I don't care who it is, not even just men. Could be women as well, too. People keep up with you. I'm feel I'm hearing that. You know, like keep up with the Kardashians. They're keeping up with you. And um, if they can't probe through it like this, like in person, and get it from you, like straight from your mouth, they're gonna look to social media. Wow. Okay, Paul Four. Let me know through the comment section how you felt about this reading. Again, if you'd like to check out that extended reading, go check it out. The link's in the description box as well as the comment section. I wish you all the best. Take care.